not updated your social security then it might uh, be a problem for you and then uh, other thing you uh, need to register yourself for vote because this is your right uh, you have to be once you become a citizen Hi everyone, welcome back to my new video. Today is another big day. Today is the day of my art ceremony and I'm already very excited and happy because this is one of the final steps to become an officially United States citizen. I'm almost ready about to leave. My scheduled time is 10 a.m. and I have to be there by 9.30 and it's uh, 8 a.m. now so let's see what's gonna happen i will keep you guys updated and i am on my way right now and see that the weather and the day is also very nice and beautiful today and this is why i am so excited and happy that i will be an officially united states citizen today and here we are at the front of the USCIS office and waiting for the officer to come and check in the appointment letter before we go inside. Hi. And once we go inside, they will check our temperature and uh, our bags and other belongings then after that uh, you will go straight to the uh, ceremony room and here we are done and took my certificate of naturalization after that everyone taking picture and we also took some picture so I just came back from my own ceremony. Uh, so finally, I'm now uh, an officially United States citizen. I got my naturalization uh, certificate of naturalization, and now I'll be sharing my experience. That um, how it goes. So there was uh, uh, no family member allowed inside the room. There was no recording. Uh, inside the ceremony room, not even inside the USCIS office, uh, but uh, that's fine uh, because of the pandemic, they have no choice, and it's been happening like this from the past one more than a year uh, because they have no any option. But um, um, the in uh, the ceremony took only around twenty minutes, which is very very quick. Uh, so once you go to the office, uh, you will have your application number, for example, you will get your number one and once you go to the ceremony room, there will be a chair with the number one and you will go and sit on your chair and uh, you will also go and check in on the window for to turn in your green card plus your uh, appointment letter. And then once everybody done with these all, they will start the ceremony. But uh, your chair will have this kind of envelope, uh, uh, which it has a uh, U.S. flag, uh, the oath of allegiance, plus the um, voter registration, and plus U.S. passport application. So that's all you got uh, in the envelope. So after that, uh, the officer will start the ceremony, and it took only around five to eight minutes. And once um, they finish, uh, they will pass you a certificate of naturalization uh, like this. This is this will be your certificate of naturalization, and that's it. So now, what you need to do once you became a U.S. citizen, uh, which is very really important for everybody. And first of all, you definitely need uh, apply for your 
U.S. passport because once you travel, you will need your U.S. passport. Uh, if you from if you are from any country, you cannot travel on their passports once you become a U.S. citizen. And then after that, uh, you have need to update your social security uh, because uh, once you became a U.S. resident, uh, your social security will say that uh, valid for the work only with the uh, Department of Homeland Security authorization. So, um, uh, once you become a U.S. citizen, then the status will be changed and then it will say not say that uh, worry for work only because once you became a US citizen you will have uh, any kind of benefit uh, other kind of benefit uh, of that country so that's why if you not update your social security then it might uh, be a problem for you and then uh, other thing you uh, need to register yourself for vote because this is your right uh, you have to be once you become a US citizen any country you can vote for them so that's all you need uh, the important part uh, after you became a US citizen so I would say that's it but uh, another thing that uh, I also share my um, interview experience. My interview was in February uh, 11, 2021 uh, which is like two and a half months ago. So then after that I uh, received my uh, odd ceremony uh, notice uh, in April. So which is uh, normally it took around two to three weeks uh, and um, I'm from Houston, Texas. So in the Texas, they do like this. Uh, some summer uh, going to in a week, two weeks, four weeks, um, but some are like months, two months. But they say that it's normal. And some of state, I don't know, but some state do on the same day the ceremony with the interview. So. Uh, every state have a different policies on every um, thing so that's why uh, mine took like two and a half months so um, once you have your interview you just keep checking on your status I was uh, checking my status every day because I know everybody is uh, waiting for this um, day so that's it uh, and if you have any question you can feel free to comment or you can email me and i will try to help you out as much as i can and anything in my knowledge i will definitely help you out so thank you for watching bye bye